Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Theorem 8-2, when the altitude of a right triangle is drawn, it becomes the geometric mean of the two newly formed parts of the hypotenuse. All right, let's see what that means. This altitude, which we're going to call AD, is drawn from the right angle down to the hypotenuse, creating another right angle. So AD is the altitude. All right, the geometric mean is a proportional relationship which we've talked about in class. That means that you can write a proportion based on the geometric mean. Now if I wanted to know how much the altitude was, since it's the geometric mean, it would go in the lower left and upper right parts of this proportion. If BD is created when I draw that altitude and it is 5 inches wide from B to D, and if DC actually happens to be 20, then of course the question is, what's the altitude? Remember that this only happens in a right triangle when you draw the altitude. So, if the altitude is the geometric mean between the two newly formed parts of the hypotenuse, that of course is BD and DC, then we can write a proportion and putting the x's in the geometric mean position. So, 5 would go above the x, and the 20 would go below the other x. Now we solve by cross-multiplying x squared equals 100 and of course x equals 10 when we find the square root. Alright, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.